Best bunch of lads I've ever worked with, honestly, in all fairness. Uh, mm -hmm. John Force 10, done the work on Redux, absolutely amazing, uh, absolutely no budget. Uh, Dave Short coming in on the short term, no pun intended. Yeah, he's now played long term, rather than um, short term. We'd had a few problems in the band help us, um, Dave was only going to stick around for three gigs. That was it, wasn't yeah, it? Just it was three showcase gigs. For that them. was it, yeah. For Bloodstock. And we were negotiating with him for the one in May. That's right. And he was saying, yeah, yeah, I'll probably stick around for that one. And then the only one he did was the first one in February. That's in right. February. He got sick then for the second one. He got sick on the, the day of the second one. Mm -hmm. And I had to give six hours notice to so Aaron in, in overdrive and say, sorry, we can't do the gig. Really, really sorry about it, but there's nothing we can do. And... I think Dave was actually concerned that he, he let us down. I think he actually told we were going to go and get a replacement drummer for the night. Well, we could have asked Igor or somebody like that, you know what I mean? But we didn't. We stuck 100% behind Dave and said, look. No, we cancel the whole gig. So he's he's yeah. rehearsed it with us. He's yeah. our drummer. If he's not down it, we're not down it. Yeah. He'd only had two sessions with us by that mm. stage. We were, we were used to him already. Yeah, we fit yeah. in. Absolutely um, fit in. But well, he, it wasn't just the drums he fit in. It was the whole personality. Yeah. Was was just he was hysterical from the first second he walked in the door. Yeah, from the time he hit his hand with the with the drumstick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. <laughs> Which is always funny. The grimace of pain is actually funny to watch. Um, yeah. it's, he really is. He's a, he's a funny fucker. Yeah. But Dave was always adamant he was only going to be there for the first couple of gigs and then he was gone. And we sort of accepted that. He says, "Yeah, okay, pity, but yeah, uh, the option was always there for him, like you know." Yeah. But I think he appreciated the fact that we rallied behind him when he got sick that time. Yeah, well, there was, there was no discussion about it. It was just like, you can't do the gig, that's fair enough, then, then there's no gig. The next gig, when he was fit, they gave us another crack of the whip. And then you got sick. And then I got called from his surgery. Yeah. So we didn't do it either way. And then it was after that, like, we, we, we'd said, um, Dave turned around and said, look, he said, if you stop well, I wouldn't actually mind sticking around for a while. I really appreciate it. The way I was treated when I was sick that time, he was rallied around me. Yeah, I was just saying, he, he must have had a horrendous time in some of the other bands <coughs> he was in. Yeah, yeah. Because... Especially when he yeah. mutant for AIDS. Well, that's it as well. Yeah. Now, Dave was always saying he didn't really want to join another band. Yeah. He sort of had it with other bands, he had enough, he didn't want to. He'd help us out and then he was gone. Yeah, that's pretty much what he does. He, he's a dep musician. He doesn't, <coughs> he doesn't join bands... He sits in. He's a dep and he's a really, really good dep and he can sit yeah. in with any band. Yeah. So that's all from there. But he did. He turned around to us and he said, that I'd actually like to stick around because he was enjoying it too. Yeah. And so, well, that's fair enough. Well, yeah, I was I was kind of hoping he'd say that anyway. Yeah, I'll be both where. Jesus. Yeah. Um, and then. That was three Dave's. Yeah, three Dave's. And then there was Mr. Quinn. Which was four Dave's. Which was four Dave's. Dave Quinn came in on. Second guitar, Dave has his own band, Celticar. Yeah. Really good band. Dave's a really nice bloke, really good guitar player, but the problem with Dave was he was self employed. He was falling behind. Yeah. And he was falling behind on the walk. It's not where he's out sick and gets paid from the job. If he doesn't work, he doesn't get paid. Yeah, which is the same situation. And he had a backlog and we had gigs coming up. Had gigs coming up and yeah. he literally couldn't commit to us. He told us that it's straight. Fair play to him. Yeah. After you said it to him, he said, look lads, I can't give us the time. Yeah. And he backed out. But Dave remains a, a good contact and a good friend of the band. And yeah. he's come to see our gigs and... Good guy, Dave. Great yeah. guy. You yeah. know, really nice guy. Yeah. And then John brought Fuzzy in. As you know, like, John is the singer of Old Season. And I think about 67 other bands in Ireland. It will be before long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John's the singer with all season and um, they're kind of dormant at the moment yeah the, pretty much their guitar player Fuzzy or what's his name Jimmy what Jimmy Kiernan Jimmy Kiernan <laughs> um, you forgot his name yeah I forgot his surname <laughs> <laughs> maybe everybody calls him Fuzzy like, you know what I mean yeah well that's what he wanted so you know. So he came in he was just like a breath of fresh air it was like he was always there he came in 
John had a well cheer with them in all fairness. <laughs> well, also in fairness, uh, he'd been learning the stuff the previous year before, right, yeah. before we got Dave Quinn on board because John had suggested it to us the year before and then he had a health issue yeah. at home. So he had to back out. Um, so second time around we said, you know, is Fuzzy still interested? And John said, yeah, well, I'll ask him. So uh, And he came in. I think he had a week's notice. Yeah, if even. If even a week, yeah. Yeah, because we had to get somebody in really quick because we had... Yeah. It was February, yeah? It was February. Yeah, because we, had, we had Jeremy coming up in April. Yeah, and it was looking like I was going to have to do the gig on my own. Yeah. Um, but we basically said we'd try Fuzzy if it doesn't work out doing it on your own. Yeah, pretty much. And, um, Which I didn't want to do in the first place. No, but no, no, no. We, we did the, the first gig in Pippers uh, as yeah. a far piece and that went off really well. It did, but when I know, you're faking I know, twin yeah, leads... I know, there was something lacking. Oh, there's always going to be something lacking. You're missing another person, another guitar on stage. There's always yeah. going to be something missing, but... It was we fun did. for a 25 minute gig. Yeah, that, but we got a great account of ourselves and it got us through to the next round. It did, yeah. <laughs> like, in all fairness. Yeah. But, um, uh, I remember Fuzz coming in the first time round and it was just like halfway through the first song, it was just like, yeah, that's fair enough. Well, if he wants it, he's got it. Yeah. You know? I just said he wasn't even in there and there and we were looking at each other going, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, and uh, that's been the way it's gone ever since now. We've got. It's gone with that void. Yeah, at least we're down to three days now rather than four. Yeah. Which is not too bad. Yeah.